All right, I'm out here on the Goose Creek Trail and I promised some of you guys to show you the uh, pack out that I did. Let's get started. To start off, this pack is a Kelty Red Cloud. Um, it's got a nice little front pouch here. Actually, it's got kind of two. It's got this zipper pouch here on the side. And in this pouch, I've got my Sawyer Mini, along with two uh, of the squeeze bags. And I've got a little tiny cup from a regular drinking bottle in here. And I keep it all in a nice gallon size Ziploc baggie. Also in that front pouch, I've got the shovel and poo paper. Up in this next pouch, I've got a map of the place. I've got my headlamp. Four rolls of parachute cord. And yes, the other day I had to use every single bit of it to hang up my bag for bears. Got a little day pack. This is the Outdoorsman uh, one from Walmart. Let's see, what else do I got here? Oh, bandana. Yes. That says Master Woodsman. Go check them out. This is just a buff. Sometimes I like having it. It's kind of nice. You can do all kinds of stuff with it. Extra Ziploc baggies. Um, I only have one left. I used all the others. This is a phone cord to charge my phone. A little bit of repel. Gorilla tape. Compass. Keys. Lighter. Backup flashlight. This is an Oppenel. And just a few emergency fire starters. That's it in that pouch. This pouch on this side is, this is what I put my video camera in to waterproof it. And this is all the extra camera gear. I've got batteries, a lens cloth, um, a way to charge my phone if need be, extra batteries for my GPS, and extra batteries for my uh, <laughs> headlamp. And this is where my memory cards go. And my trusty thermometer. Over on this side, I have both of the smart water bottles, two of them in here. They fit perfectly. These are the 23 ounce, 24 basically. Um, if we go in the lid, got the pack cover. Um, this is my rain suit. And emergency blanket. That's all I have in that. I've got on the front chest strap here. Hooked on my GPS. And inside here, I just have a few of these things on the top kind of thrown in because we were going to set up camp back uh, a little ways and we decided not to. But I got my Crocs in here. A pair of undies that got wet when I went swimming. This is my first aid kit. My food tube <laughs> in a dry bag. That's where all my trash goes to. This is a 50 ounce smart water bottle. So I'm basically carrying 100 ounces. 
and it's worked out perfect. It's about right. Tent poles. Um, inside here, I've got trash bag. And inside this trash bag, ooh, is everything else inside the pack. This is just to make sure, ensure that if it rained or something, it would all stay dry. I don't usually stick the fuel in here, but I did when I hurried up and threw my stuff in there and packed it up. I do keep my tent in there. This has the stakes in here also. I had this sitting out drying out earlier, um, so I just hurried up and crammed it in here. It does get smaller than this. This is my stove and cook pot. And I have a down jacket in here, just in case. This is my, in case my sleeping bag gets wet, emergency, keep me warm. <laughs> and an extra set of clothes. Here's my other crock. bottom side of this, I carry my sleeping bag, my pad, and my pillow, and right now I have my sleeping clothes also in here. I keep that in a trash bag also, but this trash bag serves me a dual purpose. my pad. I know somebody is going to ask what kind I've got. I don't know if you can read that. I like it. I don't care too much for the smaller pads. They kind of, well, I don't fit on them. <laughs> this is a pillow. Uh, just a cheap one. Magellan brand. They do make lighter weight ones. It's an air up pillow. Uh, this is a Kelty Down sleeping bag. It's rated for 15 degrees. Last night I slept with it just kind of draped over me, unzipped. That's why it's still unzipped. And my sleeping clothes, which is just a, a set of uh, long johns basically. This is the multi-purpose portion of this bag. I use this to air up my pad. So this fits on there, put air in the trash bag, squeeze it out, airs up my pad. 